Praise the Lord. Wait, I know you want to think that this is a normal church service, but I want you to take a look at this man actually holding the mic. This is Abdullahi Adamu, the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, who was spotted in a church. Well, you may not find offense in him being in a church, but one thing I want us to understand is, why is it that our politicians are trying to bring in religion? Can't we just go about our normal political activities without adding religion to it. Recently, Peter Obi was spotted in Dunamis International Ministries in Abuja attending an all night and it seemed as if it was a form of campaign for him. And we also have with us tonight Mr. Peter Obi who has joined us in for the service this evening. Hallelujah. Now, it is the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress that has been spotted in a church. What is really going on? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, we were told everything has a season and time allocated to it. But why is it that it is now that the election is very close, we are seeing our politicians in churches? Well, I will leave you to be the judge of that. But the question now is, why are they bringing in religion into politics? Is this their new strategy of campaigning for themselves? No wonder Isaac Fayashe said religion. this. Religion don't enter. <clears throat> With religion, please. <laughs> Cruising on with about 12 million votes already, as it is. <laughs> so it's looking Obi. I'm not deceiving you. What I'm seeing now is looking Obi. Because Obi will get 70% of the Christian votes. Atiku, Tinumbu, and Papa so will share our, uh, Muslim votes. Obi will now get some new new states that they are Christian, like Benue. Play two, FCT, Nasarawa. He's looking Obi, but Obi, you still have to spend fifty billion to gather these votes. Please share your thought on this video. Drop your comments in the comment section below. See you in my next video.